Oh, you boys are five minutes early. Did you have a good time? A great time. That is so sweet. I just can't get over how well your boys get along. Well, Larry, we run that pretty tight ship around here. It's all about boundaries, rules. Anyway, let me show you some of those uh, Civil War reenactment photos I was telling you about. So what did you boys do? I just hung out at the mall and talked about life. There's nothing, nothing special. Oh, my God. Roderick, can you explain what you're doing in this photo? That's not me. That's not you? Nope. Okay. How about these? I can't believe that you had a party. Greg, you told me it was a couple of kids, a band rehearsal. Wait, Susan, you knew about this? Yes, yes, I knew. What? You told mom? I knew they had a party. It slipped out, but I took it back. My instincts told me you weren't being honest. I should have trusted my instincts. Wait, you knew about this, but you didn't tell me about it? I still protected you. I threw mom off your scent. Yeah, great job. She has no idea. You know, we are supposed to be a team against them. Oh, they were getting along so well, I let it blind me to the truth. Why were you taking pictures? It was so crazy that morning that I forgot we took the pictures. And so I let it slide, and I am so sorry. Oh, God, it feels so good to get that out. I haven't been able to look at that bathroom door for two weeks. I knew that door had a lock on it. And everybody was trying to make me feel like I was losing my mind. We're, we're just going to let ourselves out. Uh, I wouldn't write a column about this. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to a bathroom that has a lock on it, and no one can tell me that it doesn't. I have to go talk to your father. I will deal with you boys later. Roderick, I really didn't tell her. I mean, maybe, sort of, but I made a deal with her, and we had a really good time, and... Brother, she'll never be my friend.